Hello students, this is Mr. David once again giving you the news during the coronavirus school shutdown and we give our thanks to RTHK for the English news which is dated the 6th of April and the time of the news is 6.40 so as of this recording this was last night uh, 6.40 p.m. and the headline is coronavirus cases in Hong Kong cross the 900 mark Basically, this means now the first time it's over 900 cases of coronavirus in Hong Kong across the 900 mark. So let's have a look. Health officials said the total number of COVID-19 cases in Hong Kong has now surpassed 900. Surpassed means over. OK, over. Surpassed 900 with six new locally contracted. Contracted means to be infected. OK. So locally in Hong Kong, not overseas, but local, locally contracted infections reported as some experts called for face masks to be made compulsory. The word compulsory here means you have to do it like homework is compulsory. You do not have a choice. You must do it. You have to do it compulsory. OK, compulsory. The total number of cases as of Monday evening stood at 914, 914 with 24 new cases added. Five of the new locally transmitted cases are linked, connected to, linked to a cluster. A cluster means a group, okay, a group, cluster. Uh, let's see what cluster is in Chinese, shall we? Do, 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 do. Cluster in Chinese. Ku? Hello? Is this a ku? Let's listen to that. Oh, sorry, louder, Ben. Okay. There you go, cluster in Chinese. So in English, it's a group, okay? A small group is a cluster involving bars, which has already seen dozens of infections. And the word dozens means 12, okay? So you have one dozen is 12, two dozen is 24, and of course, three dozen, 36. The sixth case is a 48-year-old man who worked in Marks and Spencer in Causeway Bay's Windsor House. Now, this Marks and Spencer is a shop just downstairs from where I live. And sometimes my wife will actually buy things from this Marks and Spencer in Causeway Bay. So sort of naturally, my wife is a little bit worried about this. So this is a 48-year-old man who worked in this shop, Marks and Spencer in Causeway Bay. If you're not sure what is Marks and Spencer, let's have a look just in case. I think once you see the shop, you will recognize it. Images. Yeah. OK, so... In Hong Kong, it's never really called Marks and Spencer. It's just called M&S. Okay, M&S, Marks and Spencer. So, he had a mild. Mild means a little bit. Okay, a mild, runny nose. That means there's liquid coming from his nose. The liquid is running from his nose. That's why with a liquid running from his nose, it's called a runny nose. And he had a mild, a little bit of a runny nose. Starting March the 23rd and continued to work, I don't know why, if you're sick, why do you continue to work? But he continued to work till March 28th, but wearing a face mask. His wife had developed, this means she is also having similar symptoms. She's also having runny nose, okay? Similar, same as symptoms on March the 27th. During this period, he went to a farewell party for a colleague, a colleague is someone who works together. So someone is leaving Marks and Spencer and he went to the party on March the 25th with around five or six colleagues, workers, at CEO New Way Karaoke Lounge. This word is karaoke, okay, karaoke, in Causeway Bay. Again, this is just a karaoke place downstairs from where I live, and at the time he was not wearing a mask. I'm sorry, Mr. Marks and Spencer guy, but if you already have a mild runny nose and you're continuing to work but with a face mask, and then you go to a farewell party. What are you doing? I'm sorry, you're just being stupid. He was sent for testing after his wife became confirmed COVID-19. COVID-19 is coronavirus on April the 2nd. So his wife has been tested positive. So then the man went to check as well. All of the party goers, the party people at the karaoke, all of the party goers are considered close contacts. Two of them have developed symptoms and have been sent to hospital. So two of his friends are also showing runny nose, breathing problems, because Mr. Man, who works at Marks & Spencer, decided to keep working, even though he's wearing a mask, and he has spread the disease. 
Um, da, 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 da. Where are we? And then, so the two are in hospital, and the others of the group are now in quarantine. Again, this word quarantine. Let's see what quarantine is in Chinese, shall we? Da, 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 da. Copy. Paste. Whoa, not that one. Quarantine. Quarantine in Chinese is geli. What is geli? Let's have a look. Let's have a listen. Gurli. Oh, girly. Okay, girly. Quarantine again. Gurli. Girly. Okay, sounds like a boy who looks like a girl. He is girly. Uh, da, da, da. So quarantine is girly. Okay, separate from other people. Dr. Chang, whoever you are, from the Center of Health Protection, CHP, Center of Health Protection, said people who develop mild, a little bit, okay, mild symptoms like runny nose and fever should not go to work, should try not to go to work, and visit a doctor as soon as possible. Asked about calls to make fan face masks mandatory. So this word mandatory is the same as this word compulsory. Where is it? Da, 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 here. Compulsory and mandatory is the same. You have to do it. So Dr. Chang says that the government or the administration can decide what is the best policy. The proportion, that means the percentage, okay, the percent or the number of people wearing masks in the community, this means in public of Hong Kong, is quite good. Okay, I'm sure you know most people in Hong Kong are wearing masks. I think 99% are wearing masks. The proportion is the percentage. But I'm sure the senior government, GOVT, is short form for government officials, will observe, that means to look at, they will observe and look at the situation and apply the necessary, this word here is legislative, okay, legislative. That's quite a hard word to say, so I'm going to say it a few times slowly. Legislative, legislative, faster, okay. Legislative or slowly, legislative. That means the government measures, okay. So if the government want to make it mandatory, where's the word mandatory here, compulsory, you have to do it, then the government will decide, they will make an announcement, right? 18 of the 24 new patients had recently re returned from overseas, including five who had been stranded, that means stuck, okay, the, these people were stuck, they were stranded in Peru, and Peru is uh, a place in China, not China, what am I saying, in South America, okay, so if you don't know what's Peru, it is Bilu, okay, Bilu, let's listen, Bilu, Bilu, Bilu. Bilu, okay, Bilu, Peru. So these people, 18 of the 24 patients were stuck in Peru. Bilu, okay, stuck, stranded. Dr. Shang said all five are believed to have caught the virus in Peru. Bilu, three of the five were from a tour group organized by Morning Star Travel. Okay, so three people on this tour group were sick, and the two others, a boyfriend and girlfriend, traveled on their own to Peru. Bilu. She said that the tour group comprised of, this is made up of, okay, the tour group was total 21 people comprised, okay, including the tour guide, so actually 20 people and the tour guide, and the remaining 18 members will be sent to quarantine center, which we know is girly, 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 quarantine center. The other confirmed cases had traveled from the US, UK, or Japan. Dr. Chang said, the, while the number of new cases has declined, this means get less. Decline here is decrease. Decline, get less, less and less. Decline. Over the past few days, it's still too early to say the overall situation is improving. So at the moment, we don't know what's going on in Hong Kong. We're still cancelled with school, no school. But also, just to let you know some news about Britain, where I'm from, this man here, I know he looks like Donald Trump, but he is not Donald Trump. He is the Prime Minister, or you could say he's the Donald Trump for England. He's the Donald Trump for Britain. His job is the Prime Minister. You see that there? And his name is Boris Johnson. Last week, Boris Johnson announced to Britain that he has coronavirus, so he was staying at home. Okay, He was self-isolating, the correct thing to do. And then, I think on Saturday or Friday, he announced that he had to go to hospital because hospital he can have better care and i woke up this morning today is tuesday uh i woke up this morning 
to hear the news that he has now been moved to intensive care, which is called ICU. Okay, ICU means not just hospital, but the next level. Okay, a bit dark here. So ho stay at home is the bottom level. Next level, go to hospital. Next level after that is ICU. So Boris Johnson, who is the, Don the Donald Trump of Britain, the Prime Minister, he is now in ICU intensive care. Okay, now they have said that he is not, this is a key part, however, he has not been put on a ventilator. That means he is breathing by himself. Okay, the next step after ICU is to be put on a breathing machine. I think it's about, they say like 75% of people in ICU are on a ventilator but the Prime Minister is not on a ventilator um, whether you care about this person or not the most important thing to understand is that he is the leader of Britain and currently this morning he is in ICU uh, let's send some positive thoughts and hopefully Boris Johnson will pull through because if something happens to Boris Johnson it means that uh, he will be the most powerful person to have been affected or shall I say maybe could have been killed maybe have been killed by coronavirus so let's hope that Boris Johnson pulls through and hopefully we'll see you all students back at school very shortly so remember always wash your hands stay healthy stay safe peace out